Hi, I'm Rob Jenkins, the Director of Product here at Focusrite. And for the last three decades, I've helped to guide its product design team in the pursuit of great sound and innovation. Today, I specifically want to take you through our RED4 pre-signal flow, from the input stage of the mic pre and ADC through to the output stage DAC, and give you some insight into its design philosophy and how its great sound is achieved. We had two design intentions for the mic pre. First, to use the original Red Range Transformer mic pre as an inspiration for sound quality, and secondly, to push the art of the possible in terms of absolute audio performance using the best available high quality modern components. This is why we called our best mic pre ever the Red Evolution Mic Pre. Let's start with the original Red Transformer and look to see where its sound quality comes from. The input primary winding delivers high common mode rejection ratio for low noise microphone recording. Specific input impedance alters the way the microphone sounds, shaping a tight low end frequency response. The secondary output windings deliver very linear low distortion voltage gain for transparent sound. Transformer resonance acts as a passive frequency shaper, adding a high frequency lift. The unique combination of input impedance and resonance creates the effect our customers describe as air. Finally, a stepped resistor ladder accurately adds additional gain in 6 dB steps. So how did we design a signal flow to produce the sound of air? We created the sound shaping effect of the transformer by using an authentic analog model of the original, designing a highly linear, low distortion microphone amplifier an input impedance model of the RED transformer, a passive frequency shaper to add resonance. This air circuit first appeared in the Claret Mic Pre stage. However, for the RED Evolution Mic Pre, we went a whole lot further into refining the performance, adding a linear switched precision resistor network with remote control gain in smaller 1 dB steps, allowing accurate recall and channel matching for stereo recording a high precision balancing amp to increase common mode rejection ratio and maximize signal to noise ratio. We pushed the performance specifications further to the cutting edge with target component choices. High precision laser trimmed 0.1% accurate thin film resistors used throughout. Both more precise and up to 100 times quieter than standard resistor types. Additionally, the resistor choice on the microphone input side was refined further with the use of MELF audiophile resistors designed specifically to produce the lowest pure white noise of any resistor type. This combination of components and layout delivers an EIN of minus 129 dB, which is the very edge of what is possible in terms of a quiet mic pre-design. Only designs like this can deliver the maximum possible dynamic range to the ADC with the least distortion of 0.0009%. Finally, we knew sound choice is important, so the Mic Pre also has a flat mode. We call this mode Wire with Gain, which switches the circuit to High Input Impedance Mode to reduce the effect of microphone preamp coupling to extend low end frequency response. And the resonance circuit is removed to give an ultra flat high frequency response well beyond 35 kilohertz. The last stage of the input signal flow is the ADC. Our choice of converter is based upon three criteria which must not be traded off. Wide dynamic range, low distortion, and low latency. To achieve these specs, the signal path uses Minimum amplifier stages with the audio signal remaining balanced from the mic pre-input to the ADC input. Dual power supplies separately powering digital and analog systems and isolating noise voltages to keep sensitive analog circuits as clean as possible. The last stage of the audio signal path is the DAC and we use the same approach used for the ADC. Our choice of converter is focused on three criteria, wide dynamic range, low distortion, low latency. To achieve this specification, the signal path uses parallel path summing. We use two conversion chips in parallel to significantly enhance the signal to noise ratio. Using two converters in parallel and summing the result 
gives an increase in signal level of 6 dB as the two signals are in phase, while random noise is only increased by 3 dB as phase cancellation happens on average 50% of the time. The result, a net improvement of signal-to-noise ratio of 3 dB. The signal path is minimized by DC coupling the DAC to the output stage, delivering maximum linearity, minimum distortion, and best low frequency response. Thank you for listening today. I hope this opportunity to give you an insight into the knowledge and expertise that goes into creating cutting edge audio design has been useful and interesting.